while we have officially moved on to the boat, there's still a lot of work to be done. There's plumbers, electricians, and carpenters crawling all over the place doing final finishes and fittings. So we decided to find a nice quiet place to get out of the way. But we do have to go back to the boat because we have things to do. We do? We do. What are we, what are we doing? We have to set up the Fusion audio system today. The audio system, of course. Now, it's really interesting. I talked to several people who have boats with Fusion audio systems, and I asked them whether or not they experienced a significant difference in the quality of the audio after they had gone through the DSP process. And they all said, the what? The what? <laughs> Fusion Audio has this really nice function called DSP, or Digital Signal Processing. And basically, you go through a series of steps, and you tell it what kind of equipment you have, what kind of an environment it's being used in, and they configure an audio package and deliver it to the head unit from the remote control that allows you to get the very best sound out of the system that you can. Of course it does. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to take you through and we're going to show you what gear we've installed on the boat and I'm going to show you how to use the digital signal processing feature of the Fusion app on your handset to go through and configure everything and get the very most out of your audio system. Okay. That seems like a lot, but it was all over my head anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. We're going to have two different head units on the boat, one upstairs on the flying bridge and one downstairs at the nav station. In both cases, we're using the MSRA 770. Here's the one installed at the nav station downstairs. Now what we've done is divide the downstairs area into a series of listening zones to give us a little bit more control over the volume that's going on in different parts of the downstairs area of the boat. The first area is the forward part of the cockpit. This is where the outside seating is for you know having breakfast outside and things like that. And in that case, we put two FM77s. Those are 7.5 inch marine outdoor speakers. And you can see they're mounted into the walls up close to the salon. In the back part of the cockpit, we've also got two more FM77s, but you can see here that what we've done with them is they're actually mounted into the ceiling. So that's a total of four speakers in the cockpit, but we put each one in its own zone so that we can have control over the volume. Inside the salon itself, that's where we have our third zone, zone three, and in that case we've got two of the uh, signature series 7.5 inch speakers, the SG772s, and you can see them pictured here. In addition, we also have a uh, subwoofer. So the subwoofer is mounted on the side of the sofa cushion at the settee right next to the nav table, and you can see it here. That subwoofer is being driven by an amplifier. So the amplifier is a DA6150. It's underneath the sofa itself. You can see it in this video. And I'll just pan around. You can see the back of the subwoofer where it's mounted. Next, we need to launch the Fusion Link application. So if you haven't already done it, download it to your handset. Scroll over on your handset till you find the link and click, and then connect to the stereo unit itself. Now the great thing about this application is it's a remote control. So if you select the volume controls, for instance, you've got an individual called volume control for each one of your zones and a master control on the far right. I've got a little Bluetooth connector on there that I'm not using yet. So you can see I've been listening to the radio. We're going to click on the toolbar icon up top and that takes us into the settings menu. And from here you can see each one of our zones and we can set the settings on our zone. So let's select cockpit and then we're going to check on DSP settings. We're using an internal amplifier for the cockpit speakers. So the next thing we need to do is let it know what type of speaker we have. So we're going to scroll down and find the model of speaker that we're using. And then what type of environment it's being used in. In this case, it's a nice open air environment, so we're going to select that. And then we're going to go back and we're going to select the aft cockpit speakers and do the same thing. Choose internal amplifier, speaker type, environment that it's operating in and then we're going to go grab the salon there we go 
Now in this case, the salon is actually being used on an external amplifier. So you choose external amplifier, there's our speaker type. Scroll down until you find the right speaker type for the ones that you're using. There's ours. Next thing, the environment. In this case, we're going to choose an internal cabin because it's the salon. And finally, because we're using an external amplifier, we need to designate which amplifier we're using. So we'll go down and find the right amp. Now the interesting thing that's going to happen now is when we designate an amplifier, it's going to come back and it's going to tell us what settings we need to put onto the amp itself to make it work correctly. So you can see that there's a little video right here and it's just showing us what settings we need to make on the face of the amplifier to get it all properly configured. So you can see the video here. And here's the amplifier itself with the cover taken off and you can see the picture looks just like the amp itself. So we're just going to tune the pots and make it look like the picture. From there we select the subwoofer, again external amplifier. We tell it what kind of environment we're in. We tell it which amplifier we're using. And what should happen here is after we choose our amplifier, it should come up and it should tell us the configuration. But this is really interesting. The settings are not correct. If you read the user's guide, you'll see that what they're telling you to do is not correct. Now this is a great time to talk about manual settings versus something brand new that Fusion has just released. And that's a new amplifier that doesn't require you due to manual settings. The DA61500 that we've got on the boat right now, you actually have to go set the potentiometers or pots manually. There's a new product that's been just released from Fusion with a product called EasyTune. Now the idea behind EasyTune is when you go in and you send the data packet up to the head unit, the head unit delivers all the configurations down to the amp and you don't have to change anything. No potentiometers to change, no volume controls, anything. So anyway, we've got all of our settings done. We're going to go back to the main settings menu and go scroll down to where it says send DSP settings. And just a second, there you go. The, fusion, the application is sending the DSP settings up to the head unit and the head unit is configuring itself so you can get the very best audio that you possibly can out of your whole stereo system and you're done. That's all there was to it. Well, now I understand it all. Oh good. And I hope that you guys will take the time to go through and set up the DSP settings on your Fusion audio systems and hopefully get even better sound on your boat. Meanwhile, there's a button right here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.